Welcome and happy Sunday everyone! This is your full body restorative yoga workout today. It was a challenging week, so we definitely need some good quality stretches. I want to begin this session team on our seated position with our feet crisscrossed today. If this position is not very comfortable for your body, just sit any other way your body comfortable to support. And let's begin with our hands on top on the knees. Close your eyes and just take a deep breath in. In the next exhalation, let all the tension go. Let's set an intention to flow through this practice with no expectations, no judgments, no comparisons. Just enjoy, guys, every single second of this workout. And with that, let's open up our right. And reach arms all the way up, nice and tall overhead, go ahead and begin your first gentle lateral bend with me, all the way. And on exhalation, take it to the other side, very gentle, very good. And let's do it one more time, and this time we will bring our hands a little bit farther. Take it back, and all the way to the other side approximately 45 degrees towards the corners of your room and let's go ahead and take it back reach all the way connect your both hands and take them right away from your forehead bring your belly your stomach in good quality exhalation look inside your body reconnect take a deep breath in and reach those arms all the way behind or above your head. Let's push them a little bit farther. And let's undo the hands. Go ahead and bind your hands behind if that's available. If not, you can put your hands just behind your back. And we take our gaze, our chest, our ribcage all the way up. Connect through the shoulder blades. Continue to open. And maybe you can pull it forward with your hands together. If not, guys, just simply take your hands apart and continue to pull forward. Very nice. Let's return back up. And we will continue our warm-up stretches with the gentle circles right above the floor. Don't be shy, guys. We're all doing the same thing. Close your eyes if it feels like it and continue to expand with your circles. You can go slower, faster, do an extra flow with your arms if it feels like. Be alive in your practice, be alive in your body. Listen and let's do uh, one or two more, depend how fast or how slow you move in. And we're ready to reverse this all the way to the other side. And again, you can keep your eyes closed or open. And when you close your eyes, it definitely less distractions through those eyes and you can connect and be present even more effectively. And let's do one or two more, depend how fast or slow you move in all body parts moving in a concert and one more we will take our hands on top of our knees and just like we do cat and cow when we are on our kneeling position we will begin movements here in our seated form chin slightly toward the chest when you go and scoop your stomach in, expand through the ribcage on the way up. Breathe in, guys. Breathe out in. Bring a little bit more speed up here. This is it. This is a great cleaning breathing all the way through the practice. When you're using, guys, your abdomen gently contracting your belly and gently expanding it with each and every inhalation and one more beautiful we will hold it all the way up here make sure you're not holding your breathing guys deep in exhalation back beautiful 
let's go ahead and take our arms all the way behind and we will plant them we will continue with the gentle expansion through the rib cage and if it feels right go ahead and lift guys your hips if it doesn't feel very good then just remain your hips on the floor and continue to work just with upper body let's do another one breathe in feels good my arms are so sore my legs are so sore my abs are so sore my entire body is sore after this week for sure let's take our boost feet up front make your transfer guys and we will slowly start our one leg extension here take your time lift this leg it doesn't have to be a really really high leg lift we just want to make sure that we keep this knee soft and extended if we possibly can and we maintain soft and neutral back we'll give this leg a good stretch first and then we will plant this ankle right on top on your another leg right above the knee make sure it feels good it feels comfortable and we slowly start to open keep on breathing and you can also guys use this modification if you can't practice your pigeon yet on your front position this would be a good alternative to that one take a deep breath in and slowly guys extend your other leg and we will take this foot on the floor if we can and we go outside of the left shoulder look behind take a deep breath in and on exhalation slowly return back we will continue with the same leg we will take this leg to the bend your knee and then to the baby cradle we will drive this foot towards the opposite shoulder now it might not go even halfway there and this is okay but i want you to keep your neutral spine keep holding it and some of you will be able to take it underneath your elbow for a little bit deeper stretches just make sure guys your ankle and your knee on one level here breathing in breathing out feels challenging and i want you to push your boundaries a little bit not always in a comfort zone only because i want you to grow and to expand we will bend our knees again and this time we will reach to the other leg and slowly start to pull on that leg up keep that knee soft and extended take a deep breath in we give it a good stretch first before we will take this foot all the way on top on your other leg right above the knee on the soft part make sure it feels comfortable and your hips square and we just gently taking this knee towards the floor opening as i said it would be a great alternative to the pigeon pose on the floor if you can do it in some days you can also lay down on the ground with your back and do the same thing all right we will slowly extend this leg and we take this left foot on the floor if it goes there if it doesn't guys you can step back and put that foot on the floor that way we go ahead and we open up to the opposite direction look all the way behind the shoulder close your eyes if you want just feeling open healthy take a deep breath in and slowly return back we continue to work with the same leg we're ready to take this leg to the baby cradle guys let's lift and extend then bend your knee take this knee all the way up here and just maintain a good level of your ankle and of your knee to take in this leg foot over the opposite shoulder just up here gently 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 
some of you will be able to bring this food inside your other elbow, which is great, a little bit challenging, but trust me, you will get there. We just need to practice. Take a deep breath in. Exhalation, good healthy stretches are must for the body, especially when we are so athletic. And you guys very athletic if you sticking with me through the week. All right, let's take our legs all the way to the front. We will go ahead and take our glutes out so we can sit nice and flat. And we continue with the gentle palm press into the floor, shoulders down and chest up. And slowly, oh, next exhalation, fold forward. Taking your time to rest and to relax. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. We are not in a hurry to stretch. We have full time in the world. In our Sundays, so you don't have to be lazy, right? We don't have to do necessarily heavy workouts if we work six worked out six days a week. Let's take our right ankle and put on top on the left. But definitely, it needs to be some sort of activity. Body needs to move. Movement is life. All right. Let's go a little bit deeper, feels great. Keep your right ankle on top and slide your left hand, guys. It doesn't have to be your ankles, it can be anywhere else. We will start with a hand on the waistline. If it feels good, go ahead and open it up. And the way I'm towards the ceiling, good job. This is a good spinal stretch. We go back and we switch our ankles. We take our left ankle on top of the right and we start to fold forward from this side as well. You will feel a lot of the hamstring and Achilles here. And if your body is sore like mine today, you will feel it even twice more. All right. Take a deep breath in, exhalation, a good yoga practice will allow you to release tension from the muscle, stretch and relax your body at the same time. And body needs a good relaxation. Let's take the right hand across. It doesn't have to be your ankle. We don't want to be stressed. Stress invites just more stress and that's not good for our health. Go ahead and open up if you can reach. Take the arm up and open. Excellent. And we take it slowly back. We will continue our stretches on our knees today. So let's go ahead and make our transfer. And we will continue, guys, with our toes and feet. We will also add, as an option, your wrist right here. If this position of the hands is not comfortable, guys, for you, then just take it halfway through or just in a regular one. We will gently take our body weight into the feet and at the same time you straighten your wrist and elbows. Good job, guys. And let's Continue to move all the way on our feet. This can be very challenging again, but I encourage you to start to work on your feet as well. This is not going to change if we're not working on our feet, but this is your balance. This is your good blood flow to the body. Take a deep breath in. And on exhalation, release the tension from the toes in this guys one knee at a time or both knees together we're sitting on top of the ankles if this is too much we simply keep one knee on the floor but just give it another breath or two you can take your hands up front if you can this is very nice and let's go ahead and transfer the body weight back 
We will continue with the shoulders, wrists and arms, total stretches. Let's take the one hand outside and another hand is on the floor. Go ahead and externally bend your elbow right straight towards the fingers. This is a good, a little bit sensitive shoulder stretch, but just take your time in it. Keep your hand fully planted and think a little bit deeper down through the shoulders. Hold it with me for a few breaths and return back. How we do exactly the same on the other side. Plant your hand really nicely, slightly farther outside and guys, bend your knee, bend your elbow. Keep planting your hand on the floor and dive down, guys, through that shoulder. It might take you a little bit to find a good place for that hand outside. Take a deep breath in. And let's hold it for a few extra breaths here. Very nice. Come back to the center and we're ready to extend our leg, our right leg, all the way through. Take a deep breath in and slowly extend your left arm. Your leg hold is absolutely optional. You can tap your toes on the floor. And let's slowly return. Other arm on the floor. You will find yourself in your forearms. We drive the leg all the way to the side and we go for cat and cow a little bit differently. When you are on your elbows, you work slightly different compartments of the back that affects your back differently. This stretch, take it another breath or two. And slowly step right in the center. You don't have to take your left arm towards your right. If it's too challenging, come with me if you can for the good shoulder and back stretch. You can also, guys, support yourself on the floor with your hand. Inhalation, exhalation, coming back. We come back to the right leg lift and this time your arm is going up too if you can. See if you have this good bind. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Today we practice in at the very end our frogger, prone frogger. So we have to give it a good preparation first and cat and cow guys. We ready to do this quick flow from other side. Reach this leg up and extend your right arm this time. Go on your elbow, the leg. Hold is optional, guys. You can bring your toes on the floor. Taking a deep breath in. On exhalation, bring your both hands on and on the floor and your elbows. We take the left leg outside and the cat and cow again. Give your back a lot of spaciousness. Keep your eyes open or close the tension, the intention within. Again, we back to the positive, nurturing, loving, happy, open conversations with ourselves. And if something doesn't flow in our life, in our health, in our body, the way we intend we still being happy because we have a lot and we continue to feed our minds and bodies with a loving words inside out. Let's go ahead and take the arm underneath the right towards the left. Maybe you can support yourself with the hand, with that hand, or you can take it up. It's up to you and you don't even have to. Take this arm underneath, you can continue to stay in your forearm position. We take another breath or two. Let's slowly return back in. We take this leg back up. If you can extend another arm, this is great. And if you can connect with your ankle and reach, 
then that's fantastic. All right, we will give this hold another press or two. Very good. And take your self back up on your kneeling position. We have a couple of them we're facing, dog stretches, of course. Of course, we do that. I think it's a amazing, feel good, full body stretch, especially when it's done right. So let's walk through quickly the forms. Hands are flat, even center of your palms, all 32 knuckles on the floor. Your neck is eventually, must be relaxed. Once you look at a form at me, then relax and drop your head. We'll just let it go, but make sure that there is zero tension in your neck and head. We take our belly slightly in towards the lower back. And we're using our belly breathing full of energy breath. Expand your belly on exhalation. Let the air completely go. Staying calm, staying grounded, and begin resting your child pose anytime you need. We will slowly take our one hand towards the opposite angle. If this is a lot, you don't have to do this. And we go for another one. And then we have a few gentle squats in the downward facing dog. Let's gently squat back. Stretching the legs, arms, and shoulders. Come back up to your downward facing dog. And again, guys, squat gentle, just nice and gentle. And back up. And on the next one, guys. We will return back on our knees, tuck the toes, and come on up one more time on our toes, but this time for a simple balance. You can keep your both hands on the ground. You don't have to take them off the floor, or you can come with me. Take in a few extra inhalations and exhalations. Very nice. And let's slowly bring our knees on the floor. Extend your arms up front, take your legs underneath and gently bring your feet, your belly down. We're ready to begin our Cobra, magic mystic Cobra flow. Make it yours, make it feel right. We've already stretched our shoulders. So start to randomly move, try to close your eyes and try to feel, guys, where your body wants to go. Go a little bit deeper, look underneath the elbows. Very good. Just a few extra movements here. And just a few more, guys. Good job. And last one on this side. And let's slowly take ourselves back on the floor with the hands up front. Underneath your forehead, take your legs wider. Put your both feet together. We will do a few more stretches before we go for our frogger on the floor. Take your time. Let the gravity do the work on your feet. And we have time right now to connect, reconnect with our body, with ourselves, with our true selves, not the one which is thinking right now, it's just our minds, but the one which observing the thoughts. And another breath or two. Very nice, guys. While we're here doing our preparations, I want to invite you to take your knee, knee and hip, toes outside, your feet on the inner blades, and just try to rotate and tuck your pelvic floor a little bit more flatter over the floor. And again, you can choose to be right up here 
and do nothing just close your eyes and feeling happy happiness is a choice we can choose to be sad we can choose to be angry and we can choose to be happy what would you choose right choose to be happy when the but when we are happy completely different process is happening in the body healing is right in the prime in the house on the top let's go ahead and gently take our other foot and start to pull it down toward the floor only if that's available if it's not then just be where you are and again feeling happy definitely procure the health and healing life is so short not to feel good not to feel happy not to feel complete and fulfilled go ahead and switch guys your legs we go for the other side we take the other knee hip and knee and ankle underneath your knee let's gently rotate the pelvic floor so we feel the belly on the floor and again we will give it a few extra press up here inhalation exhalation and you can choose to stay right up here or we can choose to reach up to this ankle and gently press on top make sure you use an arm good leverage of the back not just your wrist and we continue to open the longer we hold in our progress the better it feels and let's take it all the way back down come on up with me for the gentle cobra shoulders up back and down and we're ready for our full frogger. If you have never done this before, don't be afraid, don't worry. You can always come out. And the smart wise thing would be to bring some big pillow underneath your chest if you're practicing at home right now. Try to put your feet on the inner plates, right and left, and knees, guys, wide. While we will be going down with the chest on the floor or on the pillow, Try to remain, guys, your tailbone in between the knees. What I mean by this, a lot of time the frogger looks like this. It takes away from your frogger. Or some of the students go a little bit too far and that feels easier and feels like you are on the floor with your chest, but that's not what we're looking for. So I want you to do your best to stay with your tailbone in between your knees, your ankles directly underneath your knees and your feet if possible on the inner blades and it doesn't have to be ideal but try to feel and send and send the sensation into the hips once you are in your correct form your chest may or may not go all the way till the floor and this is okay we're doing what we can again the Thick, fluffy, soft pillow will be very helpful underneath your chest if your chest is not on the floor. Close your eyes, guys, and I will guide you through this program. If you are a beginner or your hips not in the best position today, or you just don't work on them enough, the program can be really challenging. So if you need to come out, please do, but try to stick with me. Close your eyes and just listen my voice. Take a deep breath in. And on exhalation, drive, deliver your breath to your hip flexor. Take a deep breath in. And on exhalation, deliver that breath to the both feet and ankles and the knees. Taking a deep breath in and slow exhalation. Release all the tension from the body anything doesn't serve you hips store a lot of energy good energy and different type of energies so let's look inside continue to breathe and let anything what doesn't serve you any 
and forgiveness towards ourselves or towards others. Envy, frustration, discontent, anger, all it does, it poisons our body. Take a deep breath in and an exhalation, let even more tension go out from the body, leaving your body feeling strong, rested, flexible, and ready for the day. It doesn't matter when we started our practice, at 15, at 20, 30, or 50, or even in 60s, I can promise you, you will have an amazing result if you relax it and listening to yourself. It takes time, but the results are amazing for the body. We start to feel younger and younger every single day. Go ahead and help yourself to come up. Do it your way. You don't have to do it my way. Slowly or quickly, we would have to do it anyway. Bring guys your knees back on the floor. Go ahead and sit down on your feet and take your arms all the way to the front. Put your forehead on the ground or on your hands. Look inside and find a beautiful, happy, big smile within. Come on up with me. Keep your eyes closed, guys, and let's reach our arms all the way up above our head. Bring your both hands up front of your heart in the universal position of the hands for the gratitude. Let's be grateful for everything, our life given to us, our body providing to us, we can move we can move forward, we can be with a loved one, we can grow, transform, expand, learn, and we have an ability to inspire and to help others. Take a deep breath in, guys, open up your eyes. And on exhalation, as always, guys, very, very, very good job, my friends. If you're new to the TNL, Welcome, this is our Sunday recovery workouts. Make sure guys to subscribe. Don't forget to enable this little bell button so you never ever ever miss your daily workouts if you haven't done this yet. Leave me a comment guys down below and I will see you all tomorrow for the happy strong Monday. Recover well.